The shooting may not have been intentional, but it was reckless. It's something Hidalgo County Sheriff Lupe Trevino says could have been prevented. Sheriff Trevino says Dustin Wesley Cook admitted to knowing Harwell Middle School was in his line of fire. Still, he set up his target and began shooting. An adult has to be responsible for his actions. You got to act responsible. And that's exactly what happened. He just didn't. Now Cook is facing a charge of aggravated assault, something that could land him in jail for two to 20 years. This was not an act that was committed knowingly with intent to commit harm, but really a, 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 an, a an act of, of recklessness. The evidence tells the full story of what happened on December 12th. The day started innocent enough with Cook and another man target practicing on a nearby ranch. Both are competitive shooters. Cook, armed with a 308 Winchester, set up his target and began to fire. Each shot logged into a book. It was that book, along with the ballistic report, that helped investigators link the shooting of 14-year-old Edson Amaro to Cook. They do not share rifles. They only shoot their own. And that's by their own admission. So we know that, that Mr. Cook discharged this particular weapon that uh, carried that this projectile that was extracted from the child. Despite the arrest of Cook, this story is far from over. Both 13-year-old Nicholas Terejina and Edson Amaro still have a long road ahead of them as they recover from an unintentional but reckless act. There is still one bullet that is lodged inside of Nicholas. Until that bullet is removed, Sheriff Trevino says there won't be any more charges filed. In Hidalgo County, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.